I thought guys uh, came out and played the right way for the most part, uh, played extremely hard. So what we were looking for out of this game was to come out and really try to establish ourselves on the defensive end. Um, you know, I thought we had uh, some really key moments out there when Denham uh, came in the game, Juwan came in the game, um, just all over the place, all over the glass, uh, picking up full court. Emmanuel was huge in that as well. So, you know, I, after a tough start offensively, um, you know, did not shoot the ball well, although we kept it about as basic as you possibly can. We ran ba one play on the perimeter, and then we had one post-up play, and that's all we were going to keep it to uh, with the exhibition. And then certainly we'll open up the playbook as, as we get closer to the regular season, which I think will help our shooters. Um, but, you know, for this game, what we were looking to get out of it, I thought we accomplished uh, going out and playing with great effort and really, um, you know, having some good, solid, sustained defensive possessions. Uh, I thought the run that Shadron went on to start the second half was good. Um, you know, I thought the guys stayed together through that adversity, which you have to have, and then went on two big runs, I think 13 to two and 21 to nothing um, in the second half to really open it up. So really pleased with the effort, um, you know, plenty to clean up, which we'll get back to this week, heading into our next opportunity against Colorado and, uh, you know, hopefully be where we need to be when we open up on the seventh. <clears throat> guys seem to make up for it by being aggressive on both ends. Is that kind of what you expect to be the hallmark of this team? It's it's certainly been the message, um, you know, early on in the season is especially when that ball's not going in the hoop, you got to find a way to string together stops. And I thought what that did is it got us out in transition. Um, and then the second chances uh, we got was uh, was a great sign. I talked about changing our philosophy in the offensive glass just based on personnel. You know, I think you saw some of that tonight, um, but. Yeah, you, you have to get stops. If you get stops, it gets you out. I thought Greasel was phenomenal all game long. Just, you know, I think that's what you're going to see out of him as a stat sheet stuffer, um, you know, all season long. Uh, but we were efficient. Besides shooting the ball uh, from the three-point line, I thought in transition we were pretty good. What do you think of Juwan's performance? Yeah, Juwan was all over the place. I, you know, I'm proud of him for what, uh, uh, you know, just his overall mentality uh, of coming in the game and being a difference maker and a guy that can completely change the pace and the fabric of the game uh, based on effort. Uh, his athleticism certainly showed. But like I said, he and Denham, I thought were terrific as far as changing um, you know, the overall pace, getting into, uh, getting into the ball <clears throat> and, uh, and certainly giving us some, some opportunity. And you know, it was good to see Juwan continue to shoot the open ones. They were playing way off of him. He's worked extremely hard on his three-point shot. Um, you know, we looked at a lot of things from Alabama, and he had a big shift onto his left side, and he's really worked on his balance, and he's shot the ball very well, especially on his open three-point look. So it was good to see him knock a couple of those down. I see him navigating that. If you're that open, you can shoot it every time in theory. What's that? You know, if he has the right footwork and if he's open, we want him shooting those. And he's shown us now we have a big enough sample size to where he is shooting a very high percentage on open looks. Now, contested ones, um, you know, it's a different story right now. But I thought he took open threes and the two for seven, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is what he was overall today. And, you know, if he's open, we need him being aggressive and looking to knock him down. I thought after he missed a couple in a row, we did a really good job going into a dribble handoff or we went to a get game through the big and got a good uh, attempt at the rim. Um, so, yeah, Juwan, he's... He's been great. You know, everything that, that we saw out of him at Alabama, we need him to continue to do those little things, but I think he's really grown as an offensive player. I think you guys started 2 of 16 from behind the arc. Is there any level of concern with that about getting that fixed? I, you know, the first time out, is you always have butterflies, uh, you know, getting out in front of the fans. And, you know, as long as we're taking the right ones, and again, I, there's a lot of things that we didn't show that we'll have actions to get hopefully our guys some open looks. Um, but yeah, I, you know, CJ, listen, he shot for over 40% from three last year. Uh, you know, Casey had an unbelievable summer shooting the basketball. Uh, you know, I'm confident if those guys have open looks, they're going to go down. Uh, you know, Greasel shot 40% from three last year. Emmanuel, good to see him step up and knock one down. So we've got guys that can make shots. Are you going to have nights like we did tonight? Of course. But if you can take care of the other end, you're still going to give yourself a chance to win. How has he grown, I guess, since then to maybe be a guy that can this year help you off the bench? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. When he, when he got here last year, and it's what I saw when we went out and recruited him out in, uh, um, in, in Southern California, we, you saw a guy that just flat out competed on every possession. 
And, uh, you know, there's some things that we're still working with him offensively. Uh, he's, again, worked very hard on his shot. But, you know, I thought he just went out there and really played within himself, uh, impacted the game in a huge way, even though he didn't have a, a big offensive game. Um, you know, that's going to be something that, you know, as far as a role uh, that he can fill, uh, to give great energy and turn the game around with his defense and then hopefully get us out in transition where he can really finish. But, you know, you see Denham's athleticism. He, he's a high flyer, uh, you know, going after it. Good job getting himself to the free throw line uh, a couple times today. Um, but, yeah, I've been really pleased with Denham and, and his progression. And you see his body. It was important. You know, you get him here at semester last year. He sees everything, um, is able to work on his body in the weight room, and he's ahead of the game coming into what is his, uh, his freshman year. Kind of asset is he in trans, like jump starting your transition game? Yeah, Emmanuel, he, he's he he and Blaze lead our team in deflections, and you know he does. He gets his hands <clears throat> on a lot of balls, and if, if you can, again, when you're not making shots, if you can get deflections that lead to transition easy baskets, that that's um, you know it's imperative that you have that. So yeah, just picking up the ball full court is um, uh, you know applying that ball pressure early in the possession. Uh, is exactly what Emmanuel can do. And then he and Sam play off of each other very well. Those are two of the smarter defenders that we've had. And, um, you know, to be able to be in the right spot, never have to worry about those guys making game plan mistakes. And, uh, yeah, but Emmanuel's, you know, I've obviously talked about him a lot and the type of character kid he is and the type of, uh, you know, culture that we want. He's been, you know, the leader in that area for this group, as well as some other guys. But, you know, I've said this, Emmanuel's as good of a culture player as anybody I've ever had. For the, the young guys who didn't play as, as much better, what would your message be to them? Yeah, I, I, talked to, I talked to everybody going into this game about what to expect. And, you know, there's going to be times this season. Um, you know, we've got two and a half weeks left, I believe, before we open. And, you know, what I've seen out of our freshmen is they've really uh, improved as basketball players as they've gone on. You come in as a freshman at this level, playing against 24, some of our guys, 25-year-old guys, um, you know, you're playing against grown men. And, you know, our freshmen are 18 years old. So, you know, it's going to be a growing, um, you know, learning curve. And, you know, they're going to grow through it. But, you know, I think I've said it. I think Jamarcus, Rommel, uh, both have incredibly bright futures. Oleg showed some, you know, good moves on the block out there. He's still a very young player, uh, how much he's improved since he's been here. So I. I'm very pleased with where we are right now with our freshmen, but they are playing behind some older players. Well, I hope so, Jimmy. I mean, you know, it's it's one thing that we're going to try to do is, is is create offense from our defense, and you know, hopefully get deflections that lead to uh, you know fast break opportunities, and uh, I think we'll be a better rebounding team uh, this year, which will get us out in transition better, um, you know, and then when we make shots, I think we have a chance to be pretty darn, pretty darn good. So just have to keep that, that consistency defensively, hopefully get deflections and, and get us out in transition. Thanks, guys.